Hey guys, in today's video, I have two looks using one palette. It's the Masquerade Mini once again. In the last video, which I'll link up in the cards, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a couple more looks, if you wanted to see any other looks. And some of you guys wanted a neutral eye look, and then some of you guys wanted another colorful eye look. So I did two. I did one look using this these two top rows here, which is the first look you're going to see, and then the second look, I'm, once again, I'm using the colorful row. I kept it a little bit more simple this time. So let's get started. I'm starting off with a base and I use the MAC Laying Low. This is their Pro Longwear Paint Pot. It's a cream shadow. And I'm applying it to the entire lid and even up, and up to my brow. I'm not setting it because I do want these colors to show up really well. And then I'm starting off with Ada or Ada. I don't know how you pronounce this. And I started off at the end. Uh, right at the other outer part of my eye quite frankly this color came out a lot brighter and lighter than what I'm seeing in the pan in the pan it looks like a very dark almost like an auburn and like a burnt red orange color which I do see the undertone of this on my eyes but it's a lot lighter than what what shows in the pan personally and I think that's one of the things that I wish this pan had or this palette had is just a much deeper matte shade and a uh, in the neutral side and a much deeper colorful shade in like the colorful side of the palette uh, so I blended that out I built it up these colors as far as the mattes they do um, they do show up but they do need a little bit of building on the eyes and a little bit of extra elbow grease to blend them out I then added Casablanca, which is what I applied on my lid. I did have fallout with this guy, but I initially had applied it dry. So I went in with this wet next because I wanted to, number one, I wanted it to foil up a little bit more. Number two, I wanted to prevent as much fallout as possible. And I brought it all the way up into the crease and into the inner corner of the eye and then also brought it out to the outer part of the eye and merging it in with Ada or Ada, which, whichever, we're gonna call it Ada for moving forward. I then went in with Ada once again and then just blended a little bit of that uh, Casablanca um, a shadow just a little bit and then I grabbed Gisa and wet it and applied it to the center of the lid. I think these um, foil shadows perform really well. Uh, there's a few shadows for me that I feel show up a little bit better when they're wet. Gisa is one of them, Casablanca is another one, um, Zola is another one, which is one of the colorful shadows. I'm then building Ada up in the outer part of the eye and then dragging it into the inner part of the crease and I'm slowly bringing it up. If you notice, I go back and forth quite a bit because I like building slowly so that I have more control of where the eyeshadow is going. I don't want to load the color up too much, which is why I like that I, I'm able to build the matte shadows up. I then grabbed Gisa once again and then applied it to the inner corner of the eye and dragged it up and into Casablanca a little bit. Zulu I applied to the lower lash. I just dragged it all the way in. I love this color. I love Ada and I love Zulu. I think the colors are really, really beautiful. And although they didn't show up as dark on my eyes, I do like the way that they ended up looking on me. I then grabbed a little bit of Ada and applied that closer to the lash line. And then I'm gonna go back in with another blending brush to just blend everything out. And even towards the end of this video, you guys are gonna see me applying a little bit more certain shadows that I felt like I needed just a little bit more because I always like to step back and see, okay, do I need a little bit more bling? Do I need a little bit more? Do I want a little bit more smoke? It looked pretty when I finished, but I just, I always want it a little bit more. I then grabbed a little bit of Zulu and dragged it to blend out Ada and I dragged it even higher closer to my brow because I wanted it to look a little bit more intense and I feel like the one thing that I, I wish this had was maybe like a matte uh, skin tone color um, either a cream shadow or a little bit more like a frappy from Makeup Geek which is why I pull my MAC Studio Fix contour and highlight palette and I use a soft focus and light sweep 
to help blend out some of the colorful shadows because this palette doesn't have that but I'm okay with that because I have shadows to use and quite frankly sometimes I even use my my setting powder for my face to blend something out I didn't want a highlight a brow bone highlight so I used the Mac Studio fix powders to basically apply it in those areas. The liner that I use is the Stilo U from uh, Chanel in Espresso, and I am using the Climax Mascara from NARS. I'm nearly out of this guy. I like it because it adds length and separation, um, but I never just go in with one mascara. I always like going in with a mascara that gives me length and separation, and then go in with a mascara that will give me the volume. So I use the Lash Sensational this is their Luscious Mascara in Black is Black. And I make sure to wiggle that one in closest to the lash line because I want to build volume there. I love this mascara. It's just really intense when it comes to removing it because it's it's not waterproof, but it performs like a waterproof mascara. For my lipstick, I'm using the uh, Maybelline. I think this is in black. Oh God, I can't remember the name of it. It's called Pitch Black. And this is part of their bold line. I wish this was a matte formulation, quite frankly, because I feel like it doesn't show up as opaque as I would like it to be. It is intense, but it's a little bit more sure than I would like it to be. Here I am. This is the final look. And I'm just showing you real time, guys. I like going in, stepping back, and looking at the eye look and see if I want to intensify anything. So I did add a little bit more of the Zulu shadow and, and dragged it even higher up. And I also added it a little bit more to the lower lash line to intensify it and I also intensified Gisa on the lid because I wanted a little bit more of that. Getting into the second eye look, which is the colorful eye look, I started off once again with MAC Laying Low, which is a paint pot, and apply that to the lid and up under the arch of the brow. I didn't set it because I do want to give these colors the best chance possible of them showing up. So I went in with Bori, and Bori I applied it to the outer part of the eye. And Bori has a little bit of glitter or shimmer going on in it. I did find a little chunk of glitter on my eye, but it ended up falling out towards the end. So I don't understand why they add the shimmer or the glitter to be honest with you because you can't really see it on your eyes. I don't have a problem with that because usually I don't like glitter shadows in my crease but I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. This color does take a little bit of building up so you are going to see that I leave a lot of clips of me applying the color and then going in with a different brush to blend it out. I like applying it or building it up slowly basically. This was a color that I felt took a little bit longer for me to blend out and it wanted to skip in certain areas. It could be also because I didn't set the base of uh, or I didn't set the base that I used. And then I went in with Makita, I think that's what it's called, and applied that to the lid. Makita is one of the shadows or the shimmer shadows that I felt was pressed in a little bit more and so I felt like although it showed up dry it was one of the shadows that I feel performs a little bit better when you wet it so I did use my MAC Fix Plus to wet it and then apply it and then it also amplified not only the color but I felt like it it looked a little bit more shimmery on the lid and here I'm just applying it and blending out the outer edge and then I'm going to go in with Zobo and apply that straight into the crease right in between Makita and Bori to deepen up the crease and then I'm going to grab Bori once again and help to help blend that shadow out and I'm also going to drag it a little bit higher. I drag it higher a little bit at a time so that I can have more control over the eye look. 
I applied Zola to the lower lash. I started off with it dry, but it wasn't applying its best. And same thing with Makita. And I think it's because I had already set my under eyes. So if you're going to use these shadows, I feel like maybe apply your base and don't set it in order for the pigment to grab onto something. And then I merged Makita into Zola. And then the two mascaras that I use is the NARS uh, Climax and the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. The eyeliner that I use is the Infallible Liner from L'Oreal in Teal. I don't think they make this guy anymore. And then in the lower inner corner part of the eye, I went in with Zola, but I also applied it to the top inner corner. I didn't put a shimmery shadow in my tear duct. I didn't feel like I needed it because there's already a lot of color going on in this eye look. Um, and then once again, the Sola shadow, I did go ahead and apply it wet. I went in with Bori to the lower lash and applied it right under Makita and Zola. And once again, it was a shadow that I needed to build up and it was a shadow that I needed to blend out quite a bit. So I did spend a little extra time with this. And because, once again, this palette doesn't have a matte cream shadow, I went with the MAC Studio Fix and used that as a brow bone highlight, but at the same time to blend out Bori and blend out the outer edges of the eye as well as the lower lash. These powders are meant to highlight certain areas of the face so i think they work really well for blending out for lip liner i use the wet and wild willow and i love this lip liner it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful nude and then for lipstick i use milani's matte darling and i thought this looked really beautiful together i'm actually really liking my complexion in this video i wish i would have included that portion of it because i use the i think it's the uh maybelline super stay foundation and it's so freaking flawless for the blush i use to face your love is king this is a blush that i have in my year-long project i'm still using it i'm still loving it i think it looks really beautiful i already had a blush on but i felt like i needed to pull in a little bit more of that pink everything for this video guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye